So a slight question for myself. Can I do this? Do I have it in me? Answer is yes. Always that answer is going to be yes. I dig deep, deep sometimes, but I do. Okay. One of the big reasons why I'm having had such a hard time uh, getting back my flavor, chocolate flavor, milk flavor. I don't know what that is, but it looks like good flavor. Oh, and um, taraco flavor. The reason why I'm having such a hard time getting back my flavor is because I'm. I'm worried about impressing you. So, today I just went raw and just you know, tried to do like I used to do. Before I got caught up in like my perception. So let's talk last video and then we'll move on to the new stuff. Um, all in all, liked what you had to say. It's really hard for people to get you when you have a hard time getting you. But a couple of cool things about that was that some of you really did get me. And pointed out the fact that even though like one person might not get me all the time, but out of a group of people, in that group there will be somebody that will be able to understand me. Now, with my wife... Um, you know, we talked after she saw the video, and, um, you know, yeah, I mean, maybe she wasn't completely able to understand it, um, my inability just to be happy and, you know, accept my gifts, but, um, she listened, and that's fucking super important, isn't it? That actually makes a world of difference. What should we eat, guys? More girls, you know. Actually, I think a lot of my demographic uh, comes from people older than me, which is kind of interesting because I always thought I was talking to a younger you. But I'm cool with an older you. Uh, you can watch me and, you know, help me along my way. Or maybe I can give you something back too. And you know, just because you're younger than me doesn't mean you can't give me something back. And we're not in an equal exchange. That's Paige. Um, and then, okay, and one of you, this chick, she said something about like, or a couple girls actually kind of voiced the opinion that I disrespected my girlfriend, my wife. Um, see, that's, that's a new word for me, man. You know, wife and love. Those two things are kind of kind of new to the kid. So I'm still getting used to it. But, you know, the fact that I said I was, you know, pumped about seeing drunk college chicks. You know, just because I'm married does not mean that I have to stop being me. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, I mean, okay, I know. I know I have to stop some parts of it. But I don't have to stop the entirety of it. I mean, I can't stop it anyways. Why would I want to? I'm still alive. Women are beautiful. You know, I enjoy the connections and the, like, little zaps of energy. Now, it doesn't mean that, you know, I don't have to eat this just for the tear. It does not mean I have to eat it. You know, me and, me and it can just, you know, have a nice little love affair and it can just stay in the wrapper. I don't have to open it up. Oh, no. <laughs> actually, these are really hard to open up. You see? Let me show you. Actually, fuck, I swear to God, when I first came to Japan, this was like, you know, I was like, how do you open this up, you know? Anyways, it's got a one there, so you pull the one. 
all the way. And what do you do? Split open the legs. And I made that really sexual on purpose. I am going to eat it. But I don't have to. I'm choosing to. Anyways. I'm actually drag. Same type of vlogging. Eat drag food. Um, yeah. There's a hundred different ways to love. I'm not on that Disney shit, man. So, I'm good to her, though. And, um, you know, still, we just celebrated our six months. And, still haven't cheated. I've been faithful. Now, what I think in my mind, and what I do on my own time, is my own business. A little bit. Again, hopefully you see what I'm getting at. And if you count, well, then you're just on a, you know, I don't want to say it, but you're on a Disney trip, man. You know, there's not just one person for everybody. There's not that soulmate kind of shit. Love takes a lot of work. A lot more than I used to think, you know. I think it gets harder as you get older. So, I'm looking forward to the hardships of love. Okay, six months, and I have had a little bit. Um, Usagi told me a lie for the very first time. She, uh, she lied to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, it hurt, man. And it was always some really inconsequential kind of shit. But, yeah. Trust, man. It's my only fucking rule. You gotta be able to tell me everything. That's the only way I'm gonna survive. How's it go? Honesty is such an ugly word, but all that I want from you. Da da da. It's a good song. Hey, I'll put it in right now, maybe. Maybe I won't. No, I'm not going to. No music for you. Billy Joel, though. Go check it out. Um, wow, this is kind of fun, isn't it? I haven't been able to yammer for a while. So, yeah, I just got the feeling that I need to vlog tonight. Because I'm just not able to do it. I still owe you a video, the video I was talking about, my last video. I mean, my town's a fucking mess, let's just be honest about it. But, you know, little by little, I'm doing the things I can here, you know? I'm eating the right food, minus tonight. Thinking the right things, most of the time. And I'm just making the small steps. In hopes that they equal that of a giant. Things are pretty difficult right now for me. And it's weird because things should be really good. Again, I am the one that preventing my own happiness. So, you know, I got a little bit of a date coming up when I plan, when I plan to be a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to get in to learn a uh, style of MMA. And it's kind of an elite club. Um, anyways... I've applied, and they're considering my application. Um, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to start next month, and that'll really make me feel pumped. It'll make me feel good. I'll be able to be, you know, I mean, exercise as it is, but I've just slept off. I'm tired of just exercising by myself. I want others. I want to be challenged, you know. Um movies, all that other shit, I'm just, you know, even this YouTube, I'm just kind of, you know what I mean, not really gonna just do it, I'm just gonna watch things burn for a bit, take my time, do it on my own time, I'm fighting the fucking current and I'm tired of it, so, yeah, uh, right now I have got three jobs, um, we'll talk about that later too, in fact we're gonna have to talk a lot lot of things later, because, 
on the Watson Island. Oh, watching uh, Astronaut Joe. And really good old 1970s. Here, I'll put a little bit of music in here. Anyways, really good. So, if you get a chance, go check it out. Um, it's a lot like me. You start off fucking, you know, like the kind of person that can't trust anyone. And, you know, the one that actually hurt himself by trying to hurt others. It was really, really weird, kind of, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, you know, no, fuck you. You want me to come inside? I'm going to go outside and stay in the cold because that'll show you. You know what I mean? And that's what I was like. But, um, he found somebody that brought him in. In the cold. Kind of hurts when that person lies to you. But, again, nobody's perfect. And, yeah. We may have to. I have promises. You know? We got some promises. And I'm working on them, too. That's why I'm here right now. So, hope you're doing good. And if you're feeling like I am, make the small steps, man. You're a giant, homie.